They got the boys out of Miami for a couple of days. We flew up to Boston last night and drove an hour and a half to Massachusetts, which brings us to Oyster Harbors Marine and one of their eight locations. So you're gonna see a lot of regulators, mag bays, Valhallas. We're gonna learn about the group, what makes them tick, and bring you guys along for the ride. Let's have a good time. which is the doc master. First of all, thank you very much for taking yeah, some welcome. time. I've heard rumors that you've been around here pretty much since birth. There were remnants of placenta on your ear when you your first days occurred at Oyster Harbors Marine. Tell us a little bit about, about your history and then let's let's go through it. He's gonna take us through this place and nobody knows more about it than he does. So, so let's start with your background. Tell us sure. how you started here. Uh, yep, welcome. I'm Matt, <laughs> and I've been here since I was 13. Oh, okay. Started on the fuel dock, right? My grandpa had a boat. I was always hanging out here, and so it just seemed a natural thing, right? Of course. They put me right to work, sweeping the floors, emptying trash, and then I went on to uh, Maine Maritime Academy. I got a degree in boatyard management because I decided, what a better job. You know, there's nothing better than this. Yeah. So uh, then after college, came back and been here for, I don't know, 25 years. So it's a great place, great town, really busy in the summer. And then we get to take a little breather in the winter. Yeah. It's a big seasonal town. It gets going usually, um, you know, late June into July 4th and then right through August. And then it just quiets down again. Yeah. So it's really a great oh, it's place. It's absolutely great gorgeous. Customers. It's like 60 ish degrees right now. I mean, for us South Florida boys that are used to a hundred degree weather, this is absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, you can tell it's a big boating area. How, mm -hmm. how long has this been here? So we have been, Oyster Harbors Marine has been here for 30 plus years, but this has been a marina forever. So in the past, this was Chester A. Crosby's, and then next door was Crosby Yacht Yard. So the whole harbor okay. was about boat building and about cat boats and sailing. Mm -hmm. We've all evolved now. Really few masses in the harbor, pretty much a powerboat community, center consoles. Our customers are just day trippers. The vineyard in Nantucket are just the Nantucket's maybe an hour and a half away. The vineyard's about a half hour away. So you can get there, have the day, and then come back. Okay, perfect. Well, if you want, let's let's go yeah. ahead and jump take inside and take a look around. Yeah, All absolutely. Right. Let's make it happen. So in the old days, we would. When we were slow in the winter, we didn't have anything to do. We'd build small sailboats or rowboats for the customers because mm -hmm. we didn't have any work. But today, we have evolved and we just got a new CNC router machine. We can make new dashboards, panels. We can fix everything. There's not a lot of wood anymore. There's yeah. faux teak, right? That's about That's as thing. much wood as we get. Yeah. But we can do anything here, which is great. That's well, very, very clean for a wood shop. You, I guess yeah. the vacuums the work whole well. place is clean. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. Love to see a, an organized and clean shop. It's our main work bay, and we can drive the travel lift right inside. So in the yeah. winter, boat wants teak decks, wants faux teak, whatever it needs, we can just drive the travel lift right in here and put a 50 or 60 foot Viking. That's amazing. Yep. Or we can just load it up with. Others, I think there's a nice Valhalla being outfitted. Regulator, getting new engines. We are full service. 
We have every department, fiberglass, engine repair, sign painting, canvas, you name it. We have about 50 employees, so we bring it in a boat, we can do everything in house. Fantastic, so yep. basically what you guys are, you do the sales side and then you have a full, full on service. And that's what we're proud of here, right? It's a one stop, you're just not buying a boat. You're buying a relationship and you're buying service. Mm -hmm. We can do all the maintenance on it and we can do the custom work. So some of these boats want custom towers, custom canvas, custom electronics. Everything can be done right here. Well, it's really nice living in that circle that you mentioned there and having you guys so accessible. Yep. And that's what customers want. They want their boats delivered to them. They use them during the summer. We pick them back up. We put them away. They don't do anything. Yeah. Which is great. Yes. In the winter, all the boats come in the shops. We make sure they're waxed. We make sure the engines are tuned. Anything's repaired that's broken. And then we shrink wrap them. We make them ready for next summer. And you store them here? We store 350 boats, some on site. Some, the smaller ones get trucked off site. Really? Wow. Yep. So we have a big location. How many acres are you talking about here? Because you have this and you have. We'll go the other on side. On the other as side well. as well. Yep. Oh, quite a few. <laughs> Looks oh. like quite a few. Right out to you. So this is our marine store. We have a small retail area. Nice. Our average customer is looking for just basic stuff, some cleaning supplies, a shirt, the necessities. rope. Yeah, just basic. We're full service marina, so they're not looking for parts. We have plenty right. of parts, but all the parts for us are uh, service guys. So huge stock room, we're loaded up with everything we need to keep the boats going. And see that goes way, way back there. Way back. And we have a full crew of four in the store and, and they're just doing that. They're uh, ordering the parts for the technicians. Perfect. Some smaller work base. So we bring in like, this is a brand new regulator. We'll bring it in. We'll do any custom work that the customer wants. This boat um, took off the stripes, paint the bottom, and then we'll commission all the systems and just get it ready for the water. How many bays do you guys have here? We have these two on this side, and then when we go to the other side, we have those workshops, which I can put, I don't know, 15 or 18 boats in each building to oh, work really? on them. Oh, wow. So plenty of room. Well, those waterfront homes around here, you got quite a bit of... We got some built-in in clients. Of works, yeah. Yes, we're it's very pretty lucky. Nice. We have a lot of new boats here. We line up all the new boats. Customers will pull in to see us and just, oh geez, what's that? What's new? Yeah. We'll show them the boats and it's often they trade in what they have and upgrade to something sitting on the lot. True. How many, how many boats do you guys roughly sell a year, would you say? Somewhere around 35 regulators, handful of Valhallas, some Mag Bays, probably five or six Vikings, Everglades, we probably do 10 or 12. It's a lot of boats. Yeah, not bad at all. About 100 boats, maybe? I don't think quite that many. I was going to say 50 or 60, but oh, okay. I guess it all depends on the year and the economy. What kind of mood people are in? Correct, <laughs> yep. Right here, you can see where the old building meets the new building. So we kept the old building, so when you pull up by a boat, you can see the history. And uh, everything that way is new, everything this way is old. Here's a picture of the old place. We had the World War II Quonset huts over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then here's the old part of the building. You know, the, you could only put a 30-footer inside. So that's, we kept the front part, we bulldoze everything else. Gotcha, so like you said, pull them inside the building. Yep, on a railway. Work on them right here. The front of the building would slide open. We'd pull in a boat for the winter. We'd be able to work on it here. So we kept all that kind of history. Yeah, very, very cool. Yep. Oh, just People looking like at it, you can see there's a lot of history behind this. Absolutely. And then we recently just purchased a canvas company. So now we have an in-house canvas shop. So now there's no waiting to do custom covers, custom enclosures. We have three employees oh, nice. in here and they can do anything we need. It was nice to be able to add them to our team instead of having them as subcontractors. Of course, so now you basically, you do everything in-house. We do everything. That's amazing. Yep, it's nice to be able to do that. I think our only thing that we haven't taken on, we don't do a lot of it, is metal fabrication. Mm -hmm. like we need- Pipe work and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, if we need a tower built, we'll bring somebody in for that. But right. the boat's now pretty much the, Regulators, we used to build our own T-tops, but now every boat comes pretty standard. They mm -hmm. have their own electronics, their own tops on them. Sure. So there wasn't a lot of that. Canvas was one of our biggest holdups. So now we can do it right here. Oh. How long have you had this in? Uh, just the about six months. July. Last oh, so July. recent. July. 
about a year. Yep. Nice to meet you. Hi. Well, it's nice to have the control. I mean, sometimes, I mean, sub subcontracting makes sense, but if you can control, you know, all aspects of it, it uh, definitely helps. Definitely sorry. helps. You want to come on in? There you go. Is the social approved here? Yep. yep. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is cool. A little balcony to see the work in action. Oh look, there you go. You get a sense how big the shop is, right? Yeah. Having this this large a bay door to be able to do service and stuff like that and be able to you know travel lift in a fifty foot Viking is pretty it's pretty, pretty awesome. insane. Yeah. You don't see that everywhere, that's for sure. On the second floor, we have all of our sales offices and sales team. We have electronics office here with an electronic salesman, salesman's offices. Then we go right in to Michael's office. He's our new general manager. How you doing, Michael? Yeah, how are you? It's got the view. Quite the view you have yeah, out of your office. office. Wow. That's right. There's worse places, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Nice Super to nice, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah, thank you for having us. Oh, it's a beautiful location. Very yeah. impressed with it. I had no idea it was this big. Really? You guys have so much going on here, it's amazing. It's a full service operation. Full service. Mm -hmm. Gotta take care of the customers. Yeah, see, when they say you're tucked away in the office, we can see why. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's not the worst view. No, 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 this is amazing. See everything that's going on. Oh, very nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. It seems like every office has a view of the water. Yeah, we're very lucky. service marina here as well we have about 120 slips and we have a uh, fuel dock it's not just for these customers but there's a couple other marinas in the harbor so you just showed me a pretty cool picture that i want to mention of, <laughs> of this thing frozen over in january and february and one thing that i never even never crossed my mind was the tide change explain what you yeah, guys have was, to do when this thing gets frozen in around the docks here you have a couple options you either put bubblers around the docks so when it hits 30 degrees it agitates the water and then it's not able to freeze but we have such a big marina here that we have a steel work barge so when it gets that temperature is i don't know maybe around 20 to 30s and this starts to freeze up we get in the steel work barge and we just start driving around and we break up the ice and we keep it ice free so we don't have any damage imagine so imagine this thing freezing over Frozen. and the tide coming up Grab and actually pilings. bringing the piling and the docks with it. So they have to break it all up so it does not grab onto the pilings and pull it up. That's yeah, something totally. I never never even thought of, but absolutely insane. No, a lot the of our customers, crazy. they're only here in the summer. So this is what it looks like to them. And then when I send them a picture in the winter where there's not one boat in the water and everything's frozen, they're like, Where's that? And I'm like, no, it's here <laughs> it's in Oxville. Right oh, you're kidding. When I'm there, it's beautiful and sunny. And I'm like, that's what they think it's like. <laughs> the right. fuel dock, the customers pull up. We have a staff here. They'll get them their gas, diesel, ice, whatever they need, mm -hmm. and um, get them on their way. But you can see the drawbridge is right here. We're a pretty protected harbor. The boats get tied up, and they're pretty safe here, which is nice. We also just got a uh, new toy, which is a new 75-ton marine travel lift. So it gives us the ability to lift boats. We've lifted the 68 Viking. Beautiful These things are machine. always impressive to see. And then playing with them with a remote, remote control is always yeah. like a 68 foot, you know, sport fish or something on it is crazy. Big machine. So you, you, you'll haul something out, wrap it around and put it into that large bay that we were in a little bit ago? Correct, yeah. So we can do a new teak deck or we can give it a good wax job. If it's hot here in the summer, we can get the boats right inside. We're also able to drive this machine anywhere in the property here. Plenty of room here and our equipment's nice, new machine. Yep, Let us looks brand spanking new. Yep. So now we're on the other side of the harbor. We've come over the drawbridge and I wanted to show you our workshops. So you can see how we just line the boats up here. And this starts in end of August. The customers use their boat for the summer. We bring the boats in here, we line them up and we wash them, wax them, paint the bottom, service the motors, fix anything that got damaged during the year. And then we shrink wrap them and we put the boats outside where they'll stay for the winter. And this doesn't stop. We start this in August, and this is about the end of the boat. So now we're in June. These are the last few boats that haven't been serviced, and they'll get all, everything done to them, and then we'll put them in the water, and the customer will use them for the summer. How many boats would you say go through this cycle? Probably the 250 to 300. Oh, wow. So it's a lot of work. And people say to us, well, what do you do all winter when it's cold? And I said, yeah, oh, there's a lot of work to do here. Yeah, I see no. you baby the boats pretty well. So any, yeah. any little knickknack, I mean, you bring them up to almost brand new condition. Correct. 
The customer Everyone wants there. to show up and just have their boat ready. They want it just how it was when they bought it. So uh, you can hear one of the techs here going through the motors. He's yeah. going to do fuel filters and oil filters and impellas. And he's going to make sure that it's in top running condition. We'll do the work in here. And then when we put it in the water, we're going to go for a sea trial. And we're going to run it up and make sure we're getting full RPM and good performance out of the boat before we give it back to the customer. So no matter how many hours they put on it, we in don't, the summer? Or? Yeah, it needs to be winterized. But before we put them away in the winter, we're going to change that oil and we're going to change the filter so that it goes to bed with all clean fluids in it. Oh, yep. That's amazing. And then during the winter, we'll bring them back in here and we'll do the spark plugs and lower units and other projects on it. Yeah, that's very nice. I mean, most boaters don't want to deal with the maintenance no. that comes with boating. Right. But our so customers, they're not the, the average customer. Like These customers, they want to use the boat. These are not do-it-yourself customers. These are full-service customers. This is a full-service yard, and that's typically why they buy their boat from us. They just want to use the boat, put it away for the winter, and then show up in the spring, and the boat's all set for them. All right, cool. Let's take a walk around through here. Mostly the boats that we sell are the boats that we service, but there are a few other customers that have private homes here. Maybe they wanted, here's a Roth built, something for you know, maybe their kids. So we have a lot of customers that have boats for themselves and for their kids. So a lot of these boats have been here forever. Here's an old 31 Bertram. And I saw that. I think when I started 25, 30 years ago, that boat was here. It's been here forever. Same thing. We do the same thing every year. You're gonna wax it, paint the bottom. You're gonna replace anything that's broken and you're gonna put it in their slip. And when they show up, they say to me, oh my gosh, this is just where I left it last fall. Just like this. <laughs> and they yeah, forget right. that. We've already done all that work to it and it's just ready to go again. And you said well, one of the main perks if someone buys a boat from you, part of the package is that? Do all the service. And we you, do. you provide all this service yes. for them? Yep, so they, they like that. And again, that's what most of our customers are seasonal customers. They have summer homes here. So they come here June, July, the boat's in the water, it's ready for them. We can do anything even during the summer some days. Hey, can you fuel up the boat for us? Can you wash the boat for us? They just really want to come down and use the boat and have a nice experience. experience. Yeah. So George, I wanted to go through a few of the brands that you guys represent here at Oyster Harbor. We're on a beautiful Mag Bay 33. This has been you know, one of my one of my top boats for, for quite some time. So we're, we're very happy to see it here. I know you guys have a method behind the brands that you carry. You just don't carry anything and everything. You carry brands that are chosen because of the waters, the type of boating, and just the atmosphere here. Can you get into Mag Bay a little bit? And yeah. Kind of relationship? Yeah, of course. Uh, so there's actually some history to Mag Bay with us because we were, uh, for a very long time, a Cabo dealer. So the Cabo you know, family, the Howard family, is an important part of our business here at Oyster Harbors. And when they uh, presented Mag Bay to us a number of years ago, we were, we were ready to hop on with taking actual stock boats on a regular basis. Uh, we have obviously this boat for sale. We have a number of uh, boats inbound already that are being built at the factory that are gonna be for sale. Just the fit and finish and the quality that they've put into these boats, and it just keeps getting better. It's unbelievable. Yeah. You know, one of the reasons, obviously, why we take the brand on, as well as the way they ride. Anywhere you go with one of these boats in the Northeast, People stop you. They want to see what you know. What what is that boat? They, it's beautiful. The lines, the finish work. You know the stainless tops. It makes a lot of sense for us here in the Northeast for looks, quality, ride, and uh, you know fishability and family fun. It's a good mix of everything. And like you said, it's a head turner. Uh, oh man! It feels like you're on. When they say yacht like finishes, I always think of Mag Bay because it's exactly what they what they provide. Sexy looks, and like I said, it's a happy medium between cruising center console and a boat you can fish just about any type of fishing you want to do with it. Beautiful boat, Michael Peters twin stepped hull bottom. Yes, which has been proven. You know, a lot of other brands, other quality brands, have the similar bottom. Um, and it's a you know big husky boat, and they let us do uh, a lot of customization, kind of within reason. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've done big bench seats in the back. We've done uh, different consoles. We've done different seating. Obviously, plenty of different uh, options with with the cushions and the coverings. But we've 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 had a lot of luck with them, and they've been really good to us. And they've they've helped us out with lots of different ideas and options on the boats. Well, we're gonna get to experience it. We actually have never sea trialed them. Bay, believe it or not. Talk to Barrett all the time about setting something up and we haven't been able to get it done. From what I hear, we're taking this thing to Martha's Vineyard 
pretty pumped about that. So we're gonna be able to see how it runs and really immerse ourselves in that whole Mag Bay experience. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it too. George, we're on a Valhalla 41. Obviously the Valhalla line has been uh, extremely popular. Yes. In the short time that it's been around, a product of Viking, the Healy family, everything they seem to do, you know, they do it really well. It's great to see them here. You know, tell us about your relationship and your experience yeah. with them so far. We've obviously, uh, as you guys know, been a Viking dealer for quite a long time up here in the Northeast. And when they announced that they were going to come out with uh, the center consoles, the Valhalla's, we were quick to jump on, you know, taking boats for stock, obviously offering them to our customers to, to customize and sell the way they like. A lot of our customers, a lot of our Viking customers actually love to have a matching Valhalla to go with their Viking. It's a great uh, relationship to have and they're good running boats. We've sold quite a few of them here. Actually, most times we order a stock boat that boat's sold before it even gets here on the ground. Yeah, well, it's impressive to see that you guys do stock some of these boats that uh, a lot of other companies that, that we've come across do not. Product like this that's in such high demand, I know it's it's difficult to do, but it's great to be able to come out here, touch one, feel one, take quick sea trial, and so what a lot of people wait for when they come across these boat shows. So you, for you yeah. guys to be able to have a facility like this and be able to offer that is, is excellent. Yeah, and it's always really exciting when we go to the Boston Boat Show, which is in the middle of winter here in the Northeast, and we have one of these Valhallas sitting at the Boston Boat Show because a lot of people in the Northeast don't get to see this type of boat unless they're down in Florida or somewhere else, and they, and they come into the booth. They just can't believe that we actually have boats to sell for stock. It's been a great product for us, it's high quality and uh, great support from Viking. That's what we expect from that group over there, and that's been our experience with them as well. So we look forward on spending a little time on this one. I believe we're going to do that as well. And, and thank you to the owner of this boat. This one is actually yes. an owner's boat, correct? Yes. This you guys is, sold through here? Yeah, one of our customer's boats who was uh, nice enough to, to let us take it out and show it off to you guys. And I know he's proud of it and uh, he loves it and has a has a great time with it. So I know that he knows it's in good hands with you guys that if God forbid anything was to happen, it's it's under control. Oh, yeah. The full service yeah, was... concierge you guys offer here, I'd lend my boat out to you, too. Yeah, well, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> now we're on a beautiful Mag Bay 33, which is one of the brands that Oyster Harbors Marine carries. We're actually doing something really nice. We're going over to Martha's Vineyard by boat in a 60-degree day, absolute perfection, and we're going to bring you guys along for the ride. It's a bucket list item for us. Didn't even know we we're going to tackle this today, so thank you, guys. This is going to be fun. Home of the Black Dog. People are going to know this, so I'm just... Home of the Black Dog. Yeah, home of the Black Dog. We ran about seven miles to Vineyard Haven on the island of Martha's Vineyard, home of the Black Dog Restaurant, which many of you probably know about. And the fun fact, this is where Jaws was actually filmed. So it was a nice run. The wind was blowing, but the Smack Bay handled it perfectly fine. And this is a first for us, so we can't wait to jump off the boat and take a look around. So walking through here, it's Black Dog Tavern, Black Dog Refs Restaurant, apparently very famous. I personally haven't heard of it before, but we're gonna walk inside. The guys grab the table and see what it's all about. But you can see it's like an old laid back town here. Really cool. And I hear the food's pretty good too. Let's go find out. Now we're talking. That's the real deal.
We just made the seven mile trip back from Martha's Vineyard over to the Oyster Harbor Marine location. This time we jumped on the Valhalla 41. This one has the Quad L6 Mercury Verados. Ran incredibly nice. It was windy, choppy, and you can tell why this style of boat does well, while the Regulator does well, while the Mag Bay 33 does well. They're big, beefy center consoles. We were doing 30 miles an hour here, nice and comfortably. We were not trying to race anybody or break any records, but we were dry the whole time, went nice and easy, and enjoyed the entire trip. You know, these guys are very selective on the type of boat that they bring to this area. They're not looking to just bring anything and everything. They're only looking to bring the product that they know will be successful here. So when they line up a boat with an owner, they'll have absolutely no problem. That's a, that's a nice looking color. It's the Beautiful. first time we've ever done that color. How are you, sir? Alan? Alan, hi. I'm nice Alan. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Beautiful boat. Congratulations. Thank you. How do these guys treat you, okay? Oh, everything's excellent here. <laughs> it's a great uh, harbor. It's a uh, great service. And I've, uh, I've kept my boat here now almost 12, 12 years. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a, quite the polished operation. These guys know what they're talking about, know what they're doing. Well, congratulations once again. It's, it's beautiful. Well, here's the thing about Oyster Harbors Marine. They provide the entire service. So no matter what stage or how many hours you have on your boat, they're going to take care of it from A to Z every time it comes out of the water. And that's what it's all about. You don't buy a boat to be fighting with maintenance, you know, three quarters of the year. You buy it to hopefully enjoy it as much as you can. So if they can take that peace of mind off of your plate and allow you to provide as many hours as possible on the boat doing what you bought it to do, you know, we can definitely appreciate that. So Blaine, this has been honestly our first real experience with Regulator. Obviously it's incredibly popular out here. We jumped on the 34 a little bit earlier, ran to Martha's Vineyard, that was incredibly nice. And now we're taking a kind of a cool little cruise with you uh, on the 28, which from what I understand is like the most popular boat, correct? It, it is, yeah. So we've been selling Regulators for 30 years, you know, 30, 41s down to 23s. The 28 is just, they're perfect size boat, perfect yeah. weight, perfect engines. And around here, you always got a southwest wind. You need that weight, you need the deep V. It should be a great match, whether they're boaters, if they're fishing or not fishing, it really doesn't matter. Everybody loves the boat. Mm -hmm. It can do everything. It's just been their perfect boat and the most popular boat for 10 years. Yeah, it's a perfect size. Twin 300, you say it does 55 to yeah. 60 more or less. It will, yep. It's a, it's a husky boat made for you know rough seas and yep. it, you can feel it when you step on it. We're on a lot of boats, so you know I can immediately tell when I get on it at the dock that this thing is, is solid. That's right, yeah, you're not stepping, it's not leaning one way or another, it's just a real solid, dry, heavy running boat. Keith was, boat. Keith was telling me uh, a few interesting things, which hopefully we get a uh, factory tour yep. uh, at some point in the future, but how they get the center of gravity, they hand lay the fiberglass down the center of the keel, just keeping that weight down low. You got that center fuel tank as well, from what I understand. And then when you yep. get up top, they actually go lighter, infusing some of the fiberglass parts. That's right. Uh, just to keep that center of gravity as low as possible for, for that exact reason, ru running through rough seas. Exactly, yeah. And the helm on these boats, they are a little further back, so you gain a lot of space forward. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little tight back here, but it makes for a great running boat. It's just, yeah, the balance is perfect. It's just this 28 is fantastic yeah and for this area that's 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 why they're so popular in your opinion it's you yeah, know that, it, that 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 beef that they have behind them because right. i guess you guess you're not really interested in speed over here you're looking for that's something right. you could take your friends and family you know out running across the uh the bay on a windy day which from what i understand it's it's bumpy pretty yeah. often here every or running yeah. offshore and fishing which you can do it all on this thing exactly whether you're going to the dump which is behind the vineyard or behind nantucket or if you're just taking your family to nantucket for the afternoon it's it's a perfect perfect blend of a family boat and fishing boat you can do both and most families do both but we've got plenty of people that don't fish but they want to be dry and they want to be safe of course this is the boat got to be a reason why there's five regulators for every one of anything else either. there is it's, it's absolutely incredible we've got amazing traction if we've been doing this for 30 years and some years we'll sell 50 new regulators so wow it's well known people know about them the neighbors got one they got to have one so here we are it's, it's we been go. great and they you know you don't have a lot of problems after the sale we're not fixing broken stuff they just they work and regulate does a great job with fit and finish yeah they make a great boat it's a serious boat well 
appreciate you guys taking taking us out, giving us a cruise and a rundown on on the boat itself, on regulator, and then you know your full service deal that you guys offer yeah. is absolutely fantastic. It's nice to be able to buy a boat and not have to worry about a thing. That's right. Yeah, if we have any issues, we take care of them, and that's where we shine is after the sale. We do a great job of that. So, well, you developed that's a great reputation. We've heard nothing but but good things. So, congratulations. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Appreciate it. Here with Michael, which uh, recently joined the team here as a general manager, has the nicest office in this whole place. <laughs> I, I admire it; it's absolutely gorgeous here. So, thank you for taking a few minutes and uh, sitting down with me, and also having us at your beautiful location here. But I understand there's a lot more to it. We're here at the Oyster Harbor location at Osterville. Correct. How many do you have overall? Tell us about the entire business if you can. Sure. So we have eight locations overall. This here is home base for us in Osterville. If you've seen, it's you know a beautiful backdrop. It really sums up what boating in New England is like, right? And our other stores are really just an extension of what we're doing here in Osterville. Um, you know, we're in Connecticut. We're in Newport. Basically, every boater you know knows where Newport is or know the the boating background that's there. And we go all the way up to Maine. So it really encompasses everything that is lifestyle boating related that's in the New England or on the New England coast. And what, what brought you here, if you don't mind me asking, what's your background before um, coming over here? So to... boating business has always been in my life. It's the only job I've ever had, literally like a lot of people, similar story, right? First job on a fuel dock, pumping gas, selling oh. worms, you know, yeah. that, that kind of stuff, right? What awesome. a lot of us have done. Um, and what really drew me here was the brands and the team and the location, um, just top notch brands really, truly believe in selling that lifestyle. And, um, I mean, again, if you've been out to Cape Cod or anything in this area, there's very few places I've been that beat it. Yeah. No, I mean, we came in here knowing very little about you guys, to be honest with you. We did a little bit of homework, but not much. We like to kind of give that authentic reaction of seeing what we see when we see it. And I had no idea that this was at the scale it was. It's absolutely beautiful. The weather has been 60 degrees the entire time. <laughs> right. um, it's tough to go back to Miami to hit 100 after spending a couple days with you guys here. So, I mean, the location is fantastic. Obviously, it's a phenomenal area surrounding this. Uh, the boating culture and lifestyle, considering it's a it's a relatively small season, it is. is unbelievable. But again, you guys and what you offer from A to Z, from the sale to taking the customer through maintenance, service, mm -hmm where they don't really have to worry about a thing is, is a, I think, a great program that you offer here. Yeah, I appreciate that. And it really is a focus on the customer experience um, with those top-notch brands, with the top-notch experience that we're creating. Uh, we need to be able to back that up with a service team that can help. Um, and it is full service. It's storage, it's buffing, it's waxing, it's bottom paint. I don't know, you saw a lot of it already, but we do custom work here as well. So if somebody buys a new regulator, buys a new Valhalla, they want to make it theirs. We have that ability to customize it in-house so they can really put that, that personal touch. To your point, this sh season is short, right? Even diehard boaters, you can only be so long out here. That on-water time is very, very important to them. So that right. goes back to just being able to care and, and service for them, having the right team. Yeah, exactly. If you got to spend that time messing around with your boat and not enjoying it like you intend you're missing out on the, on the whole point so you guys again got a great thing going we've we've really appreciated the time with you loved learning about cool. the whole thing and, and thank hope you to be able to work with you uh, a lot more in the future so all you guys thank you very much for for being a part of this with us We're, we still have more coming but wanted to sit down with michael and get more involved of what the actual oyster harbors marine company was all about Now we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk him into the new boat. Well, <laughs> well, it's like I was telling you guys. Oh, well, regulators sell themselves, right? Right, 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 to, uh, right, right. Uh, make it easy on you. Yeah. <laughs> Simon actually got a 26 XL. Loves the the uh, format of the boat, especially Hybrid format yeah. for New England. Simply the ability to kind of go wherever you want, do whatever you want, whether you're beaching, whether you're restaurant hopping, or whether you're going offshore. Even yeah. because the boat is designed to do all of those things, and then there's the whole family factor, which the two of you guys both have big families. Simon has actually sea trialed the 30 XO. At least, yeah, at least uh, once. Once. <laughs> uh, he's been on the boat how many times? I uh, maybe two or three. That's a, yeah, two or three. Yeah. And then at the boat, the boat show, show. Yeah. right? Uh, so went through it very thoroughly. But uh, I thought maybe you'd like to take another look real quick with these guys. We can go through yeah, the boat. We can absolutely do that. My name is Alan, by the way. Nice oh, to meet you. Sorry. I actually very. 
see a lot of your content. Oh, really? So you guys okay. do an awesome job. I'd Thank you. The East Coast, right? Uh, yeah, you definitely uh, appreciate that. Yeah, a few different brands. I know you guys focus on, but yeah, no. Uh, we 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 get on whatever we can get on. And I, uh, so it's nice to be able to get out here with these boys and and check out the regulators yeah. and some of these brands we don't see as often. Fair point. Fair so yeah, uh, I grew up in South Florida. So very. Oh, really? Kind of the Florida. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It's uh, yeah, definitely very nice. Well, I think that 30s. Uh, is a sweet spot. That's that's what I like. I like to see it as far as you can stretch. Twin engines is personally where I like to to be. To be. Yeah. yeah. Say, yeah. Once you go to the triple or the quads, right? Yeah, it's a little bit more okay, nice, New but New England kind of use case. Yeah, it's harder. Yeah. and that's really yeah. what it comes down yeah. to, at least for, for me, safe is, is use case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this particular use case, given the parameters that we just said, that the XO just fits it perfectly. Yeah. That color scheme is gorgeous. All our boats are always gray. <laughs> if you, if yeah, you've seen our stuff, yeah, seen love you. everything gray. You'll just notice when you just came up on the swim, swim ladders, you have this whole deck, right? Mm -hmm. So you're using it for basically whatever you want to. Obviously, it's designed for probably fly fishing or whatever, yeah, the ability platform. to move around the deck. Think about pulling this boat up to the beach and getting off as opposed to pulling up that boat up to the beach, yeah. right? You don't have that deep, deep V digging into the sand. You don't have to get up off the beach every five seconds to check your anchor and to push the boat off. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be a lot better off in a craft like this, especially if you have something like a stern anchor. So, um, just a great boat for all around family use. Simon actually uses his boat to commute back and forth from Hingham to Boston. Oh, for, yeah. for work, yeah. so he actually uses it yeah, as really. a compu computer That's boat. Nice. Yeah. Hey, you're right, this beam makes yeah, it so pretty much all the way up to the bow. This, so this bow area is massive. Probably a lot for just five or six, my daughter's friends and everything else. Yep. They, yeah, this is a solid one. Yeah. So. Oh, this is yeah. perfect. Yeah. And there's just storage everywhere that you look. All right, I'm sold. I, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, this so, is a, so can we write you up? Yeah, uh, if he doesn't take it, I might consider it. So, no, uh, no joke, you know, we have a, a Costa 264 hybrid. I really like the hybrid setup. What I like is to be able to, you know, you can fish off yeah. offshore if you want, yeah. but most of what I do with it is I take my two daughters, my wife or whatever to the sandbar, and what it's yeah. missing is all of this. Yeah. Now, with this forward seating area, I mean, and having a big shade with a couple of, would be, would be incredibly nice. This thing is sweet. What's the price point on this? They range from like, so like base base is like 380. It's roughly 350 ish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Depends on, of course, how, Depends how you yeah. outfit it, right? Like you, you probably want the, the, the built in, the Garmin trolling motor. Second stage, right? You can do, right? Oh, yeah. that'd be nice too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, assuming you, you use it. Yeah, like again, for up here, not so much for down in Florida. Florida yeah, in Florida would be nice. So that was pretty cool, it was unexpected. We had Simon coming unplanned to check out the 30XO. Coincidentally, he follows us at Center Consoles only, so it was nice to meet him and get his firsthand experience of you know the service that they offer here at Oyster Harbors uh, Marine. They get treated like family here, that's what's nice. It's a full service concierge and we have Rife, we have George, we have the whole team here that, you know, they've been great with us so far. We can see that same type of, you know, friendship and, and experience going along to these customers. And the only reason we're not customers here is because we live so far away but who knows maybe that might change in the summers uh, at some point in the future I could really get used to this here We shot over to Falmouth, which is one of the other Oyster Harbor Marine locations because they have a beautiful Viking 48. One of the brands that we have not seen just yet. And since Pat Healy, I know you watch some of these sometimes, we wanted to squeeze one in. Yeah. I have Ben and obviously George here hey. once again. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys can tell us a little bit about your history with Viking, we can walk through the boat a little bit. You know, Sure. Great. Yeah, no, Take absolutely. So Oyster Harbor has been a dealer for almost 30 years. And now we have six satellite offices offering basically the full brand from mid-Connecticut all the way up to Maine. And we generally stock a few Vikings, always have one or two on order. This one happens to be 48 ST, which is the uh, sport tower package. Right. Got it set up with a teak cockpit, full Palm Beach Towers tower. The sport tower, this option, the Express Viking, is been one of my personal favorites from the, actually going from the Billfish, I think the 39, 
that they came out with. I don't know if they're building much of those 30, anymore. 38. But the 44 yeah. to 48 is something I'd love to graduate to. So the fact that you guys had one here was awesome. This size for the Northeast with the enclosed helm deck is, mm -hmm. uh, is a sweet package for yeah. us here in the Northeast, going to the canyons or even inshore fishing. You yeah. can get at places that we can't get our bigger boats. So I've always nice. liked this model as well because you're you're protected. You're in AC, but you feel like you're outdoors. Right. Compared to the convertible, which is a little bit more enclosed. No, exactly. So both very nice. Obviously, you're not going to go wrong with either. But this model for me has always been just absolutely. No, gorgeous. it's perfect. I know. Quick into the cockpit. You're yeah. in the action. Yeah. all day and right. there's a the nice captain is kind of in the mix here as well right there with the family yeah so yeah, let's jump in there and take a look around great so when you guys decide to spec out a viking and bring it here to sell it what is it you look for what is popular here and why so we have we have a uh, a lot of uh obviously offshore fishing here we go to the canyons we do a lot of uh tuna fishing uh, and, and but we also have inshore fishing too but when we spec a boat out, we like to think about families. We like to think about, you know, cruising, going over the vineyard like we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, size is always a consideration, too, for us here in New England because trying to find a place to tie up for the day if you want to go for lunch right. would sometimes be a challenge. We like to set them up with lots of comfortable seating, lots of opportunity to bring the family. But then if, you know, that guy wants to switch over and go to the canyons with, with the buddies or the crew, we do that. We try to keep everybody happy. And when you order a boat for stock, we kind of have to be able to get all those options and cover, cover all the bases. Right? Yeah, we're also looking at what we've sold over the last five, ten years. Mm -hmm. What's the next step for a lot of our customer base? And this is a model where... It's manageable. It's like George said, it's comfortable, a lot of seating, a lot of dining area, it, but you're quick into the cockpit. It's got the sea keeper, the teaser reels up above. You've got great rod storage, so you can get the rods out of the way, tucked in the hard top, both port and starboard side. So those are the things we look for. And we also have a limited season, so we may not be selling as many 90 footers as we would a 48, 54, 58, but it's, you know, we tend to be, our sweet spot is say 48 to 60, 72. Oh, this, is, this is a happy medium between the two. You can go out and take the family here and be as comfortable as you are in just about anything, but the fishability of it is fantastic. The rod storage, obviously Viking is known for that. This protection, I assume, for, for the weather is it great. Extends your, extends your season because we like to start boating here as early as we can. And if you want to get out in April and May and, and it's still sometimes could be snowing. Yeah, <laughs> really. no, 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 it's true. Uh, you know, being in close here, close up the Isinglass, crank up the heat, and you got an extended season. And then you can all go all the way into October, November with this boat around here and be able to right. be able to fish. And mm -hmm. if you want to head south, you can uh, you can do that as well too. When you have a boat like this, a nice uh, Everglades or Regulator, or any of the brands that we sell, you can enjoy yourself on the water. Take part in the, the experience of fishing and family fun. And we try to take care of our customers at the yard the best that we can. We try to be a full service concierge type outfit that really right. takes our customers from, you know, the whole pre-sales through the sales cycle, which is a long sometimes uh, process, you know, with a... With yeah. a high-end product like what we sell it's not overnight we become friends with those customers yeah I mean that's the one thing about all our brokers that we want to help the customer we want to make it easy on them and we try to walk through the process and and make it simple and comfortable we stand behind the product we have a lot of great service tech so we can pretty much handle anything that comes about that they might want. Well, I think one, one thing I noticed through our years of doing this and, and the boat sales business, most people like yourselves that have gotten into boat sales is because you've had a passion right. towards boating. It's real people that enjoy what they're doing. So it's, it's you get a joy in, in making someone else's dream come true mm -hmm. and helping them through it. And, and you can see that in, in you guys. It's nice to be able to come in and say, you know what, I'm gonna buy from these guys and I'm gonna talk to George or Ben all the way through and no matter what I need, you guys are gonna take care of it. That peace of mind is very important, especially with boats that are sitting in the water, you know, throughout the year and can have all kinds of issues. So 
having that there where you know you have stress-free boating which almost doesn't exist is what i what i noticed <laughs> right. that you guys provide yeah. and why you've been successful at what you do we try to do everything we can for the customer and, and sometimes it means ben or myself or any of the other brokers will jump on a ferry and move their boat out to nantucket or yeah, yeah. help them fix something or Give them, you know, give them uh, electronics help over the phone. Or it's also nice that you guys have so many quality brands. Yeah, you have the ability to give them options. You know, some other right. some other groups yes. may have one or two brands, and they try to jam them into that brand no matter what. Mm -hmm. You guys have the ability to work. Hey, you got this. You got a Mag Bay, a Valhalla, a lot of great brands that that you can work them into something that authentically makes yeah. sense for mm -hmm. their family. And a lot of us, a lot of us spend a lot of time. Even in the you know, off season, on season, I don't think there's ever an off season for us. I learned no. that very quickly. Yeah, it's true. If you're not busy in the winter here in New England, you're not selling boats in the spring because mm. we are out. Yeah. And I know I learned this from Ben. You know, you got to spend a lot of time walking the docks. You got to spend a lot of time acting as a buyer's broker for people who want to go find a brokerage boat too. And, yeah. and that's the, that's the thrill of the chase too, because then you chasing down these used boats and trying to find the right boat for them and traveling to Florida or traveling to other parts of the country. Mm. And we do a lot of that, and that's a big part of our business as well, too. Today we are at the Oyster Harbors Marine Essex location. So the Osterville location is basically the hub the other seven spots are extensions of it and the most impressive part that i've noticed is just the extensive line that this dealership umbrella offers they have everything that would be interesting to someone living in the new england area right now i'm on a 273 everglades they got a 33 everglades in front of that we got an albemarle 30 uh I'm not sure dual console in front of that viking valhalla mag bay uh regulator they have them all. So the good thing about that is that they're not going to push a client towards a brand just because it's what they offer at their dealership. They're going to put you in what makes the most sense for your friends and your family and your type of boating. So it's incredibly nice. It's not something you see often. And uh, the full service concierge is just the icing on the cake. You're not only buying the boat here, they're gonna service and take care of that thing all year round, whether you're using it in the summer and need some assistance, some servicing, uh, you have an engine down, whatever it may be, or in the winter, they're gonna freshen up that boat and make sure it's ready for the following summer. So incredibly impressive. We're gonna take a look around this location, bounce around the area with the uh, Everglades and the Albemarle and show you what the lifestyle is all about here in the Essex location. So we're pulling out on the 335 Everglades and we have the honor of Brittany, which manages the Essex location as uh, our captain here today. So Brittany, what do we have in mind? What are we doing today? So today we're gonna take out a couple different boats that we have in stock. Um, we're coming out of Dauntless Shipyard, which is located in Essex. It's a safe harbor yard. Across the way here, you'll see Essex Island, which is a really cool spot. They have a nice restaurant out there and you actually do have to take a ferry. It's a cool place to come with the family. Essex is a really quaint, you know historical back, town yeah. super laid back you know bunch of restaurants bunch of good shopping oh yeah the whole place is is beautiful i keep saying it looks like a movie set mm. we drove in you see kind of like the mountainous greenery the sh and then just the waterways through so i guess that's what we're going to see Absolutely. now a little bit of that yeah so i think we'll shoot up river so we'll go up we'll see you know gillette's castle is a pretty historic spot like on castles. the river um so we'll go up we'll cruise by there we'll go up to the gelston house Okay. You know, there's a swing bridge up there. Again, very historical, very, very pretty. The river is super unique. You know, you see mountains, you see it's kind of like you're almost up in Vermont. You know, you're not, awesome. on the, not on the ocean anymore, but the ocean is just a short, you know, four, three, four mile run down and, and you're at the sound. We're gonna nice. shoot up river. We'll show you some of our favorite spots and go from there. All right, sounds like a nice day. It sure does. Let's do it. We're excited to have you. Excited to be here. <laughs> and at the same time, Jason's taking lessons from her on how to actually uh, captain a boat. <laughs> so maybe maybe pick up some pointers. Take notes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Brittany, we've taken a pretty epic cruise down the down the river here. We saw bald eagle. We did. We weren't expecting that. We so did. pretty much the best day ever. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what, what what is what is basically I guess the deal here in the river? What do people do to have their Everglades, you know, 33 or the 273 or their Al Albemarle? What what is a typical day? here on the river sure. for those who uh, visit or live here. Sure. So the river is great because it really gives you a wide variety of things to do. You can come up river, you can grab lunch at the Galston house, which you can see behind us. You can shoot down river, head out to the sound, do some fishing. You know, there's a bunch of sandbars in the river. There's a bunch of little coves that people go into and raft up and tie up and just kind of hang out. Cool. So it seems like it's protected. You got kind of some mountains there. So even if it's windy, it's seems like it's pretty much calm right. here and, and nice most of the time. It's absolutely gorgeous today, like 60-ish degrees, sun's out, bit of cloud cover, but we really couldn't have painted it any better. It's, it's a perfect tried. day for you guys to be I here. I seriously don't want to leave. Go back to 95 degree weather in Miami. Uh, this is absolute perfection. <laughs> so definitely got to come back, bring bring the, our families out here to spend absolutely. some time, but we've enjoyed this a lot. And you can see why, you know, someone would get into a boat like this that is so versatile. You can run offshore. It's going to handle any sea you throw it at. But when you're cruising here with friends or family, it's perfect for that too. It doesn't get much Super more comfortable, comfortable than this. Yep. And it's the perfect kind of mix between fishing and cruising. Yeah. You know, you have plenty of seating for the family. You can fish the boat. I mean, you know, the boat runs yeah. phenomenally. So. so Brittany, how long have you guys been an Everglades dealer and why did you guys choose to bring Everglades on board? Sure. So we've been a dealer in Essex for about six or seven years now. You know, these Everglades were actually built for Nantucket Sound. So Bob Doherty finished out his career with the Everglades and they were built for that kind of washing machine water between Buzzards Bay and Nantucket Sound. So, right. you know, they were actually built for the Northeast. Really? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Well, I guess you can see why it's such a perfect boat and why right. people enjoy them so much in this area. Right. We see them a lot in South Florida as well. So it's a very popular boat, you know, throughout the country. Exactly. Now we're on the 31 foot dual console album Arl with Matt right here. Thank you for uh, taking us on a spin. We saw the capabilities of the performance a little bit, jumping some waves. I, I, I can't imagine a lot of these been photographed doing that, so it was pretty cool. What exactly brought this line to Oyster Harbors and this model in particular? I'd say it started with uh, the desire to get a smaller express style boat. Albemarle and uh, Carolina Classic were well known for. Right. Dual console sort of evolved from there. It's the same dry, stable hull that handles seas so well. And we had a sales manager and he saw that the growth in the dual console market was exploding. I think he pestered out Marl a lot, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And he said, look, you've got a great riding hull with just a few modifications. I, I think you could have a beautiful dual console and you could slide into that market pretty easily without you know, completely retooling. Right. A few years later, Surprise, surprise, they announced the dual console, which is brilliant because it gives you the ability to do everything that a family wants to do on the water. Dad can go fishing with his buddies in the morning, come back, pick up the kids and the wife, take them tubing, take them to the beach. You know, mm -hmm. his wife and girlfriends can sit up on the bow where everybody likes to sit and get the sun. A little yeah. trickier on an express boat. Yeah rolling all over no, the for place. sure that open bow is incredibly nice especially when the weather's like this 60 ish degrees sun's out take the breeze open this window allow some of that breeze to come through here that nice part is that you have all the amenities too the head a little bit little berth down there if you have a young yep. child that you need to lay down for a little bit which is something we've come across uh, with our kids the flexibility is is fantastic and it's a it's a lot of boat for a 31 footer yeah and you saw that berth down there it's actually yeah. full beam berth yeah. Everybody that gets on it opens the door and looks down there and says, whoa, I didn't expect that. Yeah. A lot of space down there. Nice thing also compared to a center console is the enclosure. You can close this thing up if it starts raining or maybe it gets a little too cold out here. You get a little more protection, which I guess can extend your season but, a little bit. And that's huge up in New England. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, we don't have the same season you guys have down in Florida. Right. Never ending. Right, right, right. Down there. So, uh, and especially because in the shoulder seasons, like in the spring when it's colder and in the fall when it's colder, that's great fishing weather up in New oh, England. Oh, really? And so if you can uh, extend your season by an extra month, go after the stripers a little that's longer. Huge, yeah. 
And exactly, this full enclosure allows you to do that. Safe, dry, warm. That's something we're gonna have to try on the next trip. Some striper fishing. Never done that. Oh, we'll have I'm to bring you up for it. it. Yeah. yeah, you guys kind of just missed it. Oh man. Well, next time we'll time it a little bit better. But you know, something like this, like I said, it's 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 perfect for the area. You can see why it's popular, and we're learning more and more about it. And that's exactly what we want to do. Pass it along to the those viewing. Yeah. You know, and that are in the New England area. This is exactly what you're looking for. But this this also could be a popular boat down south and where we're from. Getting out of the sun, getting out of the the rain something we deal with and, and look for quite a bit and I can see this being a very comfortable South Florida boat all, as well. Yeah, you'd have to get the air conditioner option for AC sure. AC is a must. Yeah. AC would be huge. Other than that, there. solid. Yeah. You can see there's tons of seating in the cockpit and everything folds away and gives you plenty of space for fishing. It really does try to fit multiple needs right. under one roof, if you will. Well, let's run this bad boy a little bit, see what it can do. So there you have it. That concludes our trip up to Massachusetts, both to the Osterville location and to the Essex location. Really can't put into words how picturesque these areas are and how inviting they are. In this time of year, at least, obviously it gets really cold in the winter, but gorgeous all the way through. We want to bring our families back out here just to really spend some time without working, without filming, and just to soak it all in. So the group was fantastic, as you can see, really cool down-to-earth people that really just have a passion for both. That's what we enjoy seeing, and that's why we feel a lot of these sales groups and dealerships are so successful because they really have such a passion for what they do that they authentically want to set you up with the right boat for your family and be part of the journey with you. So if you ever get the chance to come visit, definitely do it. Say hello from your friends here at Center Consoles Only. And this is just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. We want, we want to do more of this with different dealerships, different manufacturers, different areas. Try to experience what the lifestyle is like outside of South Florida and pass that information along to you. My name is Alan with Center Consoles Only. Thank you again for all the support. Like, subscribe, pass this along to all your friends, and we'll be back again very soon.